Um, it's actually progressing a lot, and uh, I felt like today was one of my best days of spring, and I'm trying to, I'm actually kind of feeling like my, my old self again, and uh, it actually feels good, so I'm kind of excited, and uh, I'm glad I took that step forward, and, uh, but yeah, I feel like I'm getting, I'm getting there. You weren't the only one that noticed Butch Jones recognized you early yeah. on in practice. Just what is it like to get that attention and to know that those guys respect how hard you've worked to get back? Yeah, um, it felt good because I haven't heard that in a while. And so I was working, conditioning a lot to um, finally get that respect back from him. And mm -hmm. But I know I always he always has my back and I have his back. And so that's what I love about Coach Jones. And um, and I do anything for him and, and he'd do anything for me. And so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do my job because I know He's got my back, and so I'm gonna do my best to, to have his. Well, why do you think today you felt maybe closest since, that you've been back since the injury? Uh, I think it's just the constant conditioning we've had, and um, just the all the reps I've had. I've had a lot of reps, and I feel like I'm starting to get my conditioning back. And I felt like today I was I was a lot more faster and uh, more crisp in my routes, and I actually felt felt like it, it was back to normal. So it was it was comforting. And throughout this, at all, it was. You know, your, the injury in the back of your head at all? Did you think about that when you planned it or anything? Or did you feel like you got past that a while ago? Um, I'm actually past that, I think. Um, I really am just out here having fun, just playing football and really trying not to think about it. Because once you think about it, I think you get hurt. And so um, I think last year I was kind of thinking about it. And so I think it kind of led to an injury. And so, and so I'm trying to not to not to think about it. So. How you know, comfortable they, were you out there with, with the other offense and just trying to work with Dobbs and like uh, it's good. Um, it feels like feels like old times, and um, it's just the reps that have, I've had with Dobbs and uh, the repetition with him, and just working working in the spring and um, just getting our uh, getting our rhythm back and our chemistry back, and um, it's, it's starting to feel good. Last year, after you got hurt, they were very vague about the severity of your injury. Did you ever just want to like go on Twitter and say, "Listen, this is way more serious than you people think"? Or, <laughs> I mean, were you frustrated at all with people expecting you to come back more quickly? Uh, I was, but also I wanted to get back so bad, so I didn't want to be like, "All right, I'm out." You know, I always had my mindset that I'm coming back next week. I'm gonna try to get rehab and try to get back next week. But it was just. This, uh, I see what you're saying. It was severe a little bit, and so it wasn't getting any better. And so I was a little discouraged because I was started out so strong, and it was it was a little discouraging. But um, I just had to fight back, and um, eventually I'm doing that. Josh, when uh, Coach Jones or when anybody says wide receiver, you what, are you what kind of things do you think of? Oh, I think about all the tradition that's came through. Um, I think about all the all the old guys that have came through and spoken to us, and um, it's just, I mean, it's an honor to play here because this is my dream school. I grew up here, always came to games, and I mean, just to be able to say I'm a part of wide receiver view is something special. And is that a term that is used a lot, you know, inside the program, coaches, players? Oh, for sure. Cozy really tries to dig that in our in our hearts, and um, I think it's I think it's reached all of us, and I think it's a uh, it's very important to us, and. Um, and I think we honor honor the guys before us, and that's that's the most important. You said someone will come back and talk to you. Anybody you can think of? Uh, so many. Hold on, I'm not really good with names. So, but I know a lot of the guys who came okay. through okay. and talked to us. But uh, it's been it's been an honor hearing them and stuff. So, what strides do you think the offense has taken over these 13 practices in spring, and what do you want to accomplish by the end of spring ball? Uh. I think our style of play, um, just lining up fast and um, just getting the signals and lining up, going as fast as we can. And um, I think we're starting to get to that, uh, but we just got to be consistent. And that just starts with the whole offense, just clicking on all cylinders. And I feel like we're, we're starting to do that. And it's kind of exciting to watch because I feel I see a lot of people developing. And it's kind of encouraging to us that we're going into spring game being so comfortable. And I feel like we're starting to get there. Having so many guys either out or limited, what kind of impact has that just had on spring practice in general? Um, it's been repetition, I guess, for more guys since we haven't had as much depth. So I guess it's important to take advantage of those reps you get and um, and just go ahead and ride with it. And uh, you may be tired, but you just got to push through your threshold and, and just keep running, just keep fighting it through those reps. Anybody, anyone who stood out to you just regardless of position, anything that stood out? Um, really... Everyone, honestly, I feel like everyone's really just pushing through. Um, Alvin has been really good this this spring. 
uh, Pig, I mean everyone, I could point out everyone. Um, it's just been a group effort and I feel like it's, it's been an awesome, awesome spring, but we just need to um, stay consistent. Pretty talented room you're in. Oh yeah, I don't know, we're, we're, we're pretty talented, that's why we gotta bring some, some more guys in to get us a little more depth and then we'll be, we'll be something special. Josh, what wide receiver positions have you been working at? Have you been kind of bouncing around in different ones? You know, I've been on the outside mostly this spring, but when the season comes around, I'll be playing slot outside, on the other side, outside, just everything, because I take pride in knowing every position. And uh, so he can throw me anywhere and I'll know the route. Do you feel like, do you feel like you're out of gas? Uh, tank pretty empty this week. I spilled it a lot, and so I feel like I'm, I'm kind of building that, the gas back. Um, but at the beginning of spring, I was really, really feeling it because I hadn't ran it forever. But um, I'm really feeling like I've caught up to my, my conditioning level, but it definitely can be better. And um, so I'm kind of excited. I just got to keep, keep going through May and, and into the off, off, uh, off season. So Couple physically, more. did you feel better today than you did two weeks ago? Oh, yeah, for sure. I don't know if it was recovery or what I've been doing in the weight room, but um, I just came out with a with a, a different mindset that, okay, I'm going to get better today. And uh, me and Cozy had a really good meeting, me and him, and uh, I, felt like, I felt like that had a lot to do with it. Me and him just had a heart-to-heart, -heart and um, I felt like it was good. And so, um, you know, I'm, I'm playing not just for me, I'm playing for all the receivers and the coaches. And, um, and Coach Z is, is someone special to me, and, uh, and I'm trying to play for him and all the guys around me. And so I feel like it's pretty awesome. Josh, Josh Malone kind of went through some ups and downs. I'm sure mm -hmm. as a freshman, you could, you, yeah, you've been through that before. Did mm -hmm. you talk to him about that? Did you kind of say, you know, hey. I actually did. Um, he, he was kind of like it, we had the same situation a little bit, but um, you know, I try not to think about the freshman year, but I can relate to him, you know. But uh, I mean, you just gotta stay strong. That's what I told him, and um, you just gotta snap and clear. Whatever happens, anything bad, just don't forget about it. Don't even think about it. Um, just don't don't think about what anybody says. Just go out there and play, cause I know you can, and um, cause that's what he came here to do. I mean, he's a talented kid, and, and I love him to death, and so I'm gonna do anything I can to help him.